Hello, my fellow Fall of the Samurai players. The Rip here. With my second game against Duck in one day. And this is the second time um, in my whole uh, Total War career I meet Duck on a battlefield. Um, uh, and this is the second round of Better Call Out Tournament number 13. Well, technically, it's probably the first round because in first round, well, uh, only two games were played. You can take a look at brackets. Uh, if I don't forget to put a um, link in the description. And if you remember, if you watched previous game, I warm up on uh, matchmaking. Uh, where I met Duck just 20 minutes before this game, I was demolished completely. And for some strange reason, it made me more calm than I was. I wasn't that nervous going into this tournament. Because I kind of knew in, in <laughs> how bad uh, this spot is uh, where I am right now. I knew that uh, single mistake, simple, single um, bad decision would cost me the game almost instantly. Uh, but, you know, before going at and talking about my game plan, <laughs> and I, as you can see in chat, people, uh, Jigs already <laughs> seen the brackets and... Uh, I uh, know who I have to play with. Um, before going any further, let me thank you guys for all the um, feedback I got on my uh, final conclusion video. I kind of not very good with taking a praise. Uh, I'm much better with taking criticism, to be honest. To be honest. Uh, but I appreciate it. and uh, I don't want to spam uh, thank you in comments, so I will use this video to say you thank you. And um, now to the game. And Alpine Ridge is a map I feel quite confident in. I feel the distances, I know all the features and my cat is uh, screaming for some reason, but I fed him. I hope he will shut up soon. So, I don't really l like this map because it seems dull uh, and a bit artificial with this strange reach in the middle but uh, overall it's an interesting map because it allows for different playstyles uh, and the only thing I was afraid on this map is a uh, line, sp line spam but I assumed that after winning against me on that matchmate battle Duck would try to use some sort of uh, balanced build or cavalry heavy build so I have a very simple plan here uh, like bloody fox I am I decided to present a cavalry force of equal uh, strength or maybe a little bit weaker if it's possible and hide my revolver cavalry in the forest. And basically what I want to do is I want to get as close as possible and play quite passively with my cavalry so that duck will attack me. And uh, this is a very important part. I, I need I need him to attack me, because if he charges and I counter charge, it will not be easy for him to disengage. And this is a, here is a tricky part. I need to get um, my revolver cavalry out with the perfect timing, so that duck cannot disengage. And at the same time, I have to uh, get it from the forest early enough to get to the fight before I lost it. Uh, because I risk uh, giving up the first charge. Of course I would try to counter charge him, but I'm not sure if it would be possible at all. And my build, uh, as you can see, it's it's basically balanced build in my understanding. This is something I usually l use on ladder. One 150 range unit, some spear levies to kind of support my land. And I'm risking a lot here, not supporting my... Uh, Marines unit with any spears, but I hope that he, he can uh, it can survive in the forest. Then I use uh, from um, four to five land units usually, uh, weaker ones, and this time I add uh, Vermilion Birdfrost uh, to the mix uh, uh, to get uh, this morale aura to my um, red bees. Uh, five Yariki. Uh, I hope to have level 6, but they weren't um, ready for this battle. Shogun Guard Cavalry level 5 and Vanilla Revolver Cavalry that I hide um, in the forest. So I see that Duck showed Shogun Guard Cavalry, so 
uh, I kind of decided to show my Shogun Guard cavalry as well. And now I see that, you see, that was exactly what I expected. He sees the opening, he charges just to get a chance to get this charge. And see, uh, I don't know if you noticed, I already put my cavalry, uh, revolver cavalry out of the forest. And now Duck in a terrible spot, terrible spot. He cannot kill my cavalry fast enough. And it ha he actually have a cavalry of equal strength. Uh, Shogunat Guard cavalry level 5 or 6 and uh, Fuyariki level uh, 6, I believe. But he also have a Boki and his Jen, of course. And uh, you see, my plan, it, it, it feels so fast. It feels so easy probably from the outside. But I, I'm assure you, this was so difficult. I betted a lot on this plan and getting this timing. If I put my revolver cavalry out too early, I would lose this. Now, to be honest, game not ended yet. <laughs> of course it didn't. Now I have a certain advantages. I have a stronger line than Duck. He have... Uh, uh, f Six red bears or black tortoise forces, I believe. I don't know sure, uh, for sure. He have artillery, but now he doesn't have cavalry, and um, uh, I got quite lucky to get his bow cap. It could have been a very annoying and uh, prolonged game. And now it's it kind of. I was quite confident I can win at this point, but I couldn't relax because I. I know how scary Duck can be in a late game. And I didn't want to, uh, to for something like uh, Taika against me <laughs> happen to me. I didn't want to, lo to lose in a late game because he still have enough tools to deal with me. So I try to play this perfectly. I st still try to ke keep my Marines uh, in the forest to be less susceptible to this artillery fire. And I think probably this is some sort of experiment built for Duck using artillery. Uh, doesn't really look like him. And what I try to do now, I'm cutting his with, uh, him uh, with my Marines. I, I don't engage because now, because of this archery dojo, he forces to split his forces, uh, his line, as you can see. So I can get some flanking shots on my left. Uh, exactly what I want. I want him to spread, to separate, uh, which will... Uh, will make me it easier for me to win because I have more forces and I put my cavalry behind his uh, artillery because now he have to protect it so I have to make him a lot of decisions Do, uh, does he really want to push me uh, or not and you see uh, it's not something cool but what I did here I try uh, I try to hide my flank of my line behind the archery dodger to not get too many flanking f shots Small. It, it all seems small, but I, I think it all plays its role in such a games. And as you can see, my micro isn't that good. I'm not really fast, uh, but I try to be very precise with my micro in this game. And I try, uh, most importantly, I try to think ahead. And what I want, I have 150 range advantage over his line. So what I want is to pressure his artillery and... Uh, not engage with my uh, marines in a close quarter fight. So now you see basically Duck have to do a couple of things at the same time. He tries to ch chase my general, he tries to protect his artillery, he tries to keep archery dodge but he cannot already because my forces are actually consolidated. And now I see opportunity this uh, black tortoise force uh, got separated so now I can isolate it and destroy and if he, he have to choose now to either protect his artillery and camp the forest or protect his um, single uh, black tortoise force, which I think it was a mistake to try and j chase my general, but it was an interesting decision. If I did a single mistake, he could have uh, gotten volley on me. And now because of that, Duck have to make some sort of decision. Uh, he wants to attack in the middle because if I double team this um, single black tortoise force, he kind of have four against three in the middle. So he decides to um, abandon his uh, artillery, which opens, uh, gives me a chance to charge my revolver cav into back of his uh, line. And now he's, he have to risk his general. And 
this is over now this is over because I didn't allow Duck to use the tools he had and that is uh, his artillery and just by maneuvering just by creating the threats on different parts of um, by putting my revolver cavalry behind him by uh, flanking him I made him go away from archery dodger I think I played good this time I I wouldn't say perfect and I wouldn't say that it was completely my win because I think artillery wasn't a good decision on Duck's part and uh, but man that trap I, I mean really I I really like what I did in two stages of this game I, I, I really made like three good decisions first of course I, I was patient enough to made him fall for this cavalry trap Second, I didn't uh, stupidly engage with my uh, marines near archery dodger. I actually maneuvered, ma maneuvered forcing him to uh, spread his forces while controlling the middle near the archery dodger. And third good decision was to keep uh, my revolver cavalry behind him by threatening his artillery and making Duck to decide what he really wants to protect. So I think I played decent here, uh, if I <laughs> if you allow me to say so. Uh, so, one one <laughs> ridiculous. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you.